Yo, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I manage my whole entire clientele and plan with them from both the desktop and on my phone. Literally anywhere and everywhere. I just made a timeline for my upcoming wedding. Yo, what's up guys? It is DJ Rick Webb and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I manage clients all the way from the process of getting a new lead to booking them and what I use to plan with my clients. Yes, we're going to go mostly in depth. I'm going to try and keep this high level in this video and then based on your guys' questions and concerns related to the things, I'll dive into more detailed videos following this. Alrighty, so let's jump right into it and before starting this video and talking about what I'm using, I, I got to note DJ Event Planner. It's like DJ EP. It's like what everyone is using. And I'm going to tell you right now, the whole reason why I switched to these two softwares is because I was so frustrated with DJ Event Planner. I have DJ Event Planner. I'm still using it for some of my clients. But like it, the whole entire thing is so archaic, old, and it only works on the computer. Like you can't use it on your phone. The main reason why I switched is because I can manage my whole entire business off of my phone from anywhere. I don't need to have a computer. And that's the main reason why I switched. So the softwares I'm using, I'm actually using two softwares. And I'll explain. You can pretty much get away with using one. Um, but if you want all of the details like I do with planning, I use two. So the softwares I'm using are HoneyBook and Vibo. HoneyBook is like the main thing I use. HoneyBook handles my leads all the way up from getting the lead to booking the lead, to handling payments, to handling contracts, um, to handling emails. All that is done through HoneyBook. And then Vibo is my planning solution. So Vibo is what the actual client interacts with and that's where we do planning. So let's just jump onto the computer and I'll show you guys what it's like on the computer and I'll show you guys what it's like on the app because like I said, you can manage your whole entire business from your phone. In fact, I just got a new payment notification from HoneyBook that one of my clients signed on and I got a new payment. Yay! Alrighty guys, this right here is HoneyBook. HoneyBook is like, I can't express how much easier HoneyBook was to use compared to using DJ Event Planner. It's a breeze. And beyond that, if you guys actually sign up and you pay for the monthly subscription, they will help you transfer all of your stuff into HoneyBook. So they'll help you transfer clients. They'll help you create your proposals, your invoices, your questionnaires, all of that. They will generate them in HoneyBook for you so you have all those templates already there so you can hit the floor running right off the bat. And one awesome thing that DJ Event Planner doesn't have is a help feature. Down here in the bottom left or right hand corner, you can click message us and they will get back to you literally if it's during their hours, which they have hours every day of the week. Anyways, let's jump right into it. So this is the home screen. This is where you do a lot of the setup and uh, I don't really spend much time here, but mostly because uh, the task area is where I spend every morning and I actually spend that time on my phone because this is a mobile app as well. And you can literally do 90% of what's on here, you can do on your phone, which is awesome. So quickly, you got projects, you got calendar, you got tasks, you got reports, you got bookkeeping. And then down below is the more tools. So this is where you send, spend the time setting up. You set up all of your templates, you set up your contact forms, your workflows. Workflows are like a chain of events. So you can apply the workflows to certain things. So I have two workflows that I use right now. I'm going to add more eventually, but I only have my wedding workflows right now. One is for a new lead. So as soon as I get a new inquiry, I apply the, the like follow, I call it the follow up workflow. And that is the workflow of basically touch points and events and follow ups leading up to trying to book this client. So basically the chain of emails, and the like the dates in between so like at this point I need to send this email and it's all automated too which is awesome three days later send this one four days later send this one five days later send them a uh, brochure if they haven't already got one already um, and then there's like a last ditch email and then I also have a workflow for when they've been booked and actually let me click on workflow so yeah right here are my two workflows you got nine steps in the follow-up stage and ten steps in the booked workflow the book workflow is by is a uh, once they have signed the invoice and paid their initial retainer fee 
uh, I apply the book workflow. So this handles everything from the point there for all the way to the very end in sending the uh, please leave a review email. I can't stress this enough, but the workflows are what allows me to basically take a step back and not have to like be up in every single wedding and know what I need to do. Because the workflows are set up the way I want them, the literally the system lets me know what I need to do every single day uh, to basically stay ahead of the game. And that is where tasks come in. So if I click on my tasks for the day, one, you're going to see a lot of Create Vibo accounts. And that's because I'm in the process of transferring everyone that was on DJ Event Planner to Vibo because Vibo is a thousand times better. But down here at the bottom, we can see kind of some of the actual tasks I need to be working on today. So I need to contact the venue for Western Guilford's prom. I need to figure out the venue for Apex High School. I need to approve the timeline meeting for Madison and Adams wedding coming up. Um, and right there you can see these are in the uh, workflows. So if it says follow-up stage, this is part of the follow-up stage workflow. This is part of the booked workflow. So that's what tasks are. It's pretty awesome. Down here at the bottom, there's also the, the mobile app, which I'll show you here in a second. There's batch emails. So if you want to send a batch email to all of your wedding clients, say you want to leave like a wedding tip of the month, there's a hint for you guys. I do those. Um, you can send it out to all of your book wedding clients. Uh, library, so you upload your actual photo library. That way you can send photos really quick and uh, the logos and all kinds of stuff like that. Templates. Templates is where you set up yourself for success. Like I said, HoneyBook, once you sign up and like actually are a paid customer, like on a subscription plan, HoneyBook, you will send them like your PDFs that you already have made up for your invoices, your contracts and your proposals, your brochures, and they will create them for you inside of HoneyBook. And that, trust me, when I switched over and they said they were gonna do that, I was like, uh, here's my money, sign me up and set me up. And they literally had all of my stuff created and it was pretty much 100% accurate. Uh, I had to tweak a little, a little few things here and there that I wanted to tweak prior, but I was literally able to hit the floor running with HoneyBook within like two days because they imported and did all the work for me. You create an invoice, a contract, a proposal. A proposal is like one of the coolest things ever. Say you just had a meeting with a client or you just got off the phone with a client and you literally like you know what they want. Um, say they wanted like a reception package and a ceremony. If you got your packages set up already, you can send a proposal in seconds. You literally just click on new proposal, select reception, select ceremony, and you click send. What the proposal is going to be is it's going to be their invoice at the beginning. They will click next if they think the invoice is correct. And then it'll have the option for them to electronically sign your contract right there on the HoneyBook file. And then they click next and it takes them to the payment page where they can make a payment via credit card, debit, or bank transfer. Or you can also do it manually if they want to give you a check or cash, you can manually do it for the program as well. But it's pretty sweet because it's literally you send one email to them and it has all the information for them to literally just click through and book. Not to mention, if you send them a file and they haven't done anything with it in say two days, three days, it automatically sends them reminders telling them that they have not signed their contract, they have not made their payment yet, and throughout the whole entire process, it will give them payment reminders of when their payments are due. And you never, literally never have to send them one email or text or phone call to be like, hey, um, your payment's due. No, it takes care of all that. Now, obviously, they don't pay their payment in time, and then you might have to interfere. But so far, with the clients I've been through with this program, it literally handles payments, and I never have to have the discussion of money, basically, with them other than what it's going to cost for them to book our services. So you can also create questionnaires, and you can create uh, timelines as well. But I don't do that in HoneyBook because Vibo is where I handle all my planning. Uh, Vibo's up here. We'll talk about that in a second, but it's basically a mobile planning app for your phone and it's what they download, it's pretty awesome. Uh, brochures, so you create all your brochures in here. And uh, one thing I gotta stress here, HoneyBook is not something that your client logs into. This is a way that you manage your clients. So the way they receive all of this is via email. So this is just basically a way to manage your clients. It's a CRM, it's how you manage your clients. Email templates, email templates are huge. I have tons of them in there. And email templates are what helps you build your workflows. 
So if you want like a, a certain email, I'll give you an example. In the booked to the point of like when we do the event, I have a sequence of emails that sends a reminder at like 200 days before the wedding. It sends them a little email that says, there's 200 days left till your wedding. Uh, be sure to be filling out your info on your Vibo wedding planning app. And that's just an email template. I also have like a greetings to a new inquiry like, hi, thanks for contacting me, blah, blah, blah. And uh, it, it's, it's awesome. And you can create a custom email signature as you can see down here. And uh, you can basically just one click apply to all your emails. Enough of templates. Let's go to where you're going to be spending all of your time. This is where I spend all of my time when I'm on HoneyBook. The projects tab. This right here is your pipeline. This is literally your pipeline through and through. I have 47 active projects, 22 are in the lead follow-up section. I have zero inquiries right now, zero meetings scheduled, three proposals have been sent out, one retainer literally just got paid as you guys saw right there, 17 weddings are on the books right now, uh, zero lighting only, I haven't imported those in here yet, I actually have two of those right now, and four school dances. And uh, the way you can do this, you can actually customize it. So it has uh, some pre-made ones, but I added in meetings, lighting only booked, and school planning. And of course, you got archived. So if you lose a lead to a competitor, you would just click archive. It's going to ask you, did you lose it to a competitor? Did they not like your pricing, etc. And uh, you can click on each one of these tabs and see literally all of your projects that are in each one of your tabs. And it's an awesome way to have a quick high-level overview of where all of your clients stand in terms of the wedding process or your like business process from the point of being an inquiry to completing the event. Now quickly, I don't want to spend a lot of time on here because I want to make this a very high level video overview of how it works. Um, and then I will dive into some more detailed videos later on based on your guys' feedback. So this is what a project looks like. We got uh, a picture here at the top. You can select a different picture right here. Again, they don't actually get to see this. This is how you manage each one of your clients. So it's this is the workspace of the project. Right here I can see that I'm in the email chain, Brittany's in the email chain, and I can add other participants. Say I want to add the groom to this email chain they will also get all the emails. This is probably one of the coolest features of HoneyBook is it implements directly with my Gmail. So my uh, my Fusion Sound Lighting email, um, all I had to do was log into my Gmail. I didn't have to set up any stupid servers or anything like DJ Event Planner wants you to do. You just log into your Gmail account. It's that simple. Any email between me or Brittany, sent to me, sent to Brittany, etc., is logged in this chain which is awesome. So you can see every single email that has been sent between you two um, and you don't have to go digging for your inbox. You don't have to go to your inbox and search for Brittany and see what emails have been sent. It's all right here inside of each one of those wedding projects. So you know exactly where you're at with that client. What was the last email you sent? You can go to files. You can see every file you guys have sent between each other. You can go to their payment tab, see their payments that are coming up, etc. New file is where you can create a quick proposal. You can create your invoice, brochure, etc. Like I explained earlier. On the right hand side here, you can move them to different stages. You can also do that inside of the pipeline itself. But you just click this drop down. You can move them to the different stages of the pipeline. Additional team members, this is where I said earlier that you can add additional team members. So if I want to add Kaylin as a team member to this project, say he's going to be the DJ at the project, I'm just going to oversee it as being the owner. I will add him to this and then he can have his email chain and see directly what I've already said to Brittany and he can also respond to Brittany and it's all right here in this awesome email chain. I can see right here the exact tasks that need to be done with Brittany. So today there's one due. This is actually was due on the 17th. That's because that's when I activated the workflow. Like I said earlier, I'm trying to switch all of my clients over to Vibo. I'm still working on doing that. And then at the bottom here, you can set up your workflow as well as you can click the drop down and you can see and you can apply where you got the lead source from. That's like back on the home screen where it said my top lead source was wedding shows. I can click down here and click wedding shows and I can apply different referrals so that I can track where all my leads come from and I can get a report basically on terms of my earnings based on leads, which is awesome. One last thing before we leave projects, I want to show you guys how easy it is to send emails because you have email templates. You just click here, you go to templates and say I want to send 100 days until their wedding. 
This is one of the templates that's built into the workflow that sends automatically 100 days before the wedding, but say I want to do it manually. I just click on the template and it imports everything directly into here. So as you can see, the templates are set up to have the client name. That's one of the options you have to add right here. And uh, then here's the template that's already made. It's got the, head, uh, the subject line. It's all set, ready to go. And um, it's already got applied my email signature, but you can easily apply your email signature right here. It's awesome. So like I said at the beginning, HoneyBook is very detailed. There's a lot of features. So if you guys have questions, you want more videos, I plan to make more videos to explain some of the cool things that I utilize on HoneyBook. Also, if you guys want to check out HoneyBook, um, I'll also mention this at the beginning at the end of the video, but my uh, like link right here, you can click that link or the link's also in the description and the first comment. If you use that link, it's going to save you 50% on your first year. I actually reached out to HoneyBook and they were kind enough to give me a link for you guys to save some money on the program. But you can also jump on and just start a free trial to mess around and check out all that it has to offer. It's awesome. So like I said, the templates when we we're talking about questionnaires and stuff, you can develop questionnaires and just use HoneyBook if you want. But I don't use HoneyBook for what my clients use for planning. What my wedding clients use for planning um, is not HoneyBook. Previously with using DJ Event Planner, you set up a client login on your website and your clients go in the desktop and they log in and they get this little planning account. It's, it's Okay, the music search feature is pretty terrible, but like it, it works. And honestly, I have nothing bad to say about the DJ Event Planner thing other than it took forever to set up the uh, planning forms. So I recently stumbled upon this thing called Vivo. So this is Vivo Desktop. Now, this is not the cool part about Vivo. The cool part about Vivo is that it's an app on your phone. And more importantly, the way that your clients interact with it is via the app. They actually don't have a desktop version. The desktop version is for the DJ only. So only you get access to the actual, like to have a desktop. The way your clients get it is via an app. So quickly, this is the dashboard of Vivo. So right here you can see all of the wedding clients that I've imported so far into Vivo. I got nine of them so far, and uh, you can just see the list of events, you can uh, show pass, you can view it as a calendar, you can create a new event right here. You can also do all of this on your side of the app. Uh, templates, so I've already created my templates in here. I have one for reception only and one for reception and ceremony, but uh, just quickly event settings, allow hosts to invite other guests. Uh, you can limit their songs, you can lock the event, you can go to the event section. This is where you set up their uh, like mock timeline. Again, you can edit this after the fact. And then planning form, because you have to have some sort of planning form. And let me tell you right now, creating this planning form right here, a thousand times easier than DJ Event Planner. So I'm just gonna quickly breeze through the rest of this. Uh, we got recommendations list. Uh, this is for music. They already have tons already created. Like look at all of these recommendations lists. Like. This is tons like first dance, garter removal, all these dances are already built into the like software already. Next we have my info which I'm not going to click on because it's all of my info and then account which obviously is your account. Uh, lastly, music scanner. This is by far one of the coolest features of Vivo. So you know previously with your wedding clients, they'll give you a list of music, they'll give you your first dance, their father, daughter, their mother, son, their introduction songs, etc. And then you go into iTunes, Serato, whatever, and create these crates, create these playlists for the weddings. Well, Vivo takes care of that for you. You download the scanner right here for either Mac or Windows. The first time you use it, it will go through and scan your whole entire library. This will probably take some time the first time you do it. But after that, it only scans for the new song, so it's quicker after that. But it's just like a one time like hassle you gotta go through. With each one of your wedding timelines, Vivo will automatically look at the wedding timeline, what songs they've already selected, see if you have that song in your library. If you don't have that song, it'll tell you you need to download it. And then once you have all the songs, it'll automatically create the list for you. And you can import that list directly into a Serato crate, a virtual DJ crate, a playlist in iTunes, a tractor list, whatever. Or just a folder in general with all of your files in it. That right there alone is gonna save you a couple hours for each one of your weddings. Okay, so now that I've shown you guys the desktop version of it, 
This is the coolest part about both Vibo and HoneyBook. You can do all of that on your phone. So let me show you guys how awesome this really is. Alrighty guys, I'm sitting here at my counter in the living room because I want to show you guys how I utilize my business anywhere and everywhere via my phone. It's all I need basically to run my business on a day-to-day -day operations. So since we were talking about Vibo, let me show you the Vibo app and then I'll show you the HoneyBook app and I'll try and make this as quick as possible. So the Vibo app is the same app that your clients are going to also download. So if I click on the Vibo app, you can quickly see that all of my weddings are in the Vibo app, same as what they were on the desktop. So Katie has already joined. You can see down there at the bottom, she is one of the hosts of the event. We could also add Zachary into it. So if we wanted to add Zachary, and this is the exact same way that I added Katie into this, I would go to an edit event and I click add host. And it'll pull up either on your Apple or in my case Android. I could copy the clipboard or I could send a direct text or email. And uh, basically it's going to send a link for them to download the app. And when they click on the link while they're on their mobile device, it'll take them to either the Apple Store or the Play Store. It automatically knows what type of phone they have. And they'll be able to download the app. When they download the app, they can either create a profile, they can log in directly with their Facebook account. Um, and once they do log in or create an account, it will take them directly into their wedding profile so there's no like like login process to find their wedding. It takes them and sends them directly to their wedding profile as long as they use that link that you send them. So in the app here on the home screen, uh, as you can see there, they already changed their photo. That's one of the cool things. They can change their photo to a picture of them. But that just makes it a little more personal and I can actually... When I look at the profile, I know exactly who the bride and groom are, and that's a nice thing, a nice little cheat for when the wedding is coming up, when I'm going to the wedding to be like, that's who my groom is, that's who my bride is. Or groom or groom and bride or broom, you know. So like I said, this is the exact same view that Katie will have as being a host. Um, they can always click info under me and they can see exactly all of my info, my website, my Facebook, my phone link if they need to get in touch with me. Vibo is also multi-op friendly. So if you have multiple DJs within your master account on your desktop, you can assign different DJs to different weddings. So instead of my name being right here, say Kaylin was assigned to this, it would show Kaylin's profile, but it would have me joined as a guest because being the owner, I need to have access to everyone's profile just in case. So one last thing on the home screen here, they can also click on the planning form. It'll open it up in the web browser. It's that generic planning form that has all of the questionnaires basically that I need for their wedding. The cool part is in the music tab and this is actually technically their timeline. So on here they can do all the different events. Blue is a multi-song list. Turquoise is a single song list, so something like a first dance would be a single song, something like cocktail hour music would be a blue one, or just something that needs some text as a time placement is an activity, that's in gray. Uh, you can reorder, you can edit, you can add a section at the bottom there, um, and it's all in this. And you can set this up as a template so that all of these things are already in here when you create each one of your profiles and you just need to tweak them from event to event. They can click here to add notes. They can click here to add time. You can also do the same. When they want to add a song, they just click into each one of these events. They click the green plus and they can either import their playlist from Spotify. They can search YouTube or those recommendations lists that we had on the desktop. There, um, you can select which one of the recommendation lists you want on each one of the activities. So for cocktail, obviously I have a bunch of the cocktail recommendation lists. If I click on something else such as dinner music, it's going to give me a bunch of lists related to dinner music. So again, in each section, they can either import their Spotify list, they can search YouTube or use recommendation list. And they can do that to create a list of music such as here in Prelude where they have a list of music. There's also a heart system. This gets really cool because they can invite their guests to their public lists. Uh, so on the right hand side there's host only list, there's public lists such as cocktail music, uh, dinner music, or open dancing, there are public lists so they can invite their guests and their guests will only have access to those public links uh, because they are not a host, they're a guest, they will only get access to the ones that are public and it's a really cool feature that they can, can use 
for their guests to have um, basically song suggestions and they can go through suggest songs, they can heart songs. And uh, overall as a DJ you can see basically what are going to be the most popular songs that the guests overall are wanting to hear at the wedding, not just the bride and groom. Lastly here with all of these details on the timeline slash music portion right here, at the bottom you can get a PDF, so if you click send me the PDF. Um, you could also do this on desktop, you can just download it or you can print it. It will create this in a nice black and white form, timeline, and uh, you can print it out and take it to your event. You can send it to all the other vendors, etc. So quickly, in a nutshell, that is Vibo. And if you guys want more info on Vibo, a link to their website is in the description down below. The owner, Michael, over at Vibo actually set you up with like a one-on-one -on -one video call and he'll actually walk you through all the details of the app, how it works, answer all your questions, show you it for free. So you can basically go through and figure out how it's going to work for you and you can see a lot more features than what I just showed you. I'll tell you right now, it's pretty awesome. The music feature is really, really awesome. And the fact that it is an app, 21st century, um, this is a huge selling factor that I actually use with brides and grooms being that they will be able to plan their whole entire wedding event and everything in the palm of their hand via our app, 21st century technology, versus a planning portal that you have to get onto a computer, log on to, and then go through the hassle. The music feature sucks on there, etc. So while on my smartphone real quick, I gotta show you HoneyBook. So just like the desktop, on HoneyBook here on my phone on the app, I have my full pipeline. So I can see literally my full entire pipeline. I can see all of my projects. I can click on Brittany and Tyler. I can see the email chain between us. I can click the message them. I can add a template to send them a template email. I can go to files. I can create a new file on here. I can send proposals. I can see the details. I can change where they are in the pipeline. I can literally do everything on here. I can add a new event directly from here. Um, I can add a, a new event directly into my pipeline, I can see a new inquiry, I can send an email. If I need help, I can click on the help icon and I can literally contact someone directly on HoneyBook to help me along with it on my phone. I can view my calendar, I can view my task. This is where I go to every single morning when I wake up. I go to my today's task for HoneyBook and figure out what I need to do for the day. So that's really awesome and uh, like I said guys, you can literally manage your whole entire like company on HoneyBook from your phone. That is just like, this was the main selling point for me is that there was a mobile app that I can manage my whole entire business from my phone. As you guys know, I have a full-time job. So being able to, on my lunch break, just look at my phone and literally do everything I need to do for my business quickly and easily because I have all those workflows set up, all those templates already set up. I can send proposals, a new, I get a new inquiry in the middle of the day. I can literally send them all the info within seconds. Well, not really seconds, it, within minutes, right on the app. It's awesome. So there you go, guys. That is a look at exactly how I run my business. HoneyBook is how I manage all my clients completely through and through. Vibo is how my clients interact with me in the planning phase. Like I said, DJ Event Planner literally was f so frustrating to set up. Um, it took me forever. It was not user friendly. This is all in my opinion, but I, I literally hated DJ Event Planner. My experience with DJ Event Planner was terrible because it just it just would not do what I wanted it to do. And then thank the Lord, I literally was on YouTube and I came across a photographer that was using HoneyBook, and I was like, what? Wait, wait, wait. What is this software? And then I tried the free trial and I like I, I just fell in love. The fact that I can manage it on my phone, it literally took less than a day to set up everything compared to the event planner, which took forever. I can create these like amazing, awesome proposals, send them out to my clients, and literally like it has everything on there, my invoice, my contract, and it's all seamless, it works together, it's clean, it's modern, it it works. It's not archaic, it's not old school looking, it's just awesome. And then using Vibo for the planning portion of it, how awesome is it to tell your bride, hey, 
You'll be able to plan your whole entire event literally right on your phone. Your husband, your fiance can also have it on their phone. Your mother can have it on their phone. And you guys can all plan it together literally directly on your phone anywhere and everywhere. 21st century technology. And you'll have access to me literally right on the phone. You don't have to log into a computer. That is an awesome sales strategy and honestly, I'm getting amazing feedback from the brides that I have on it. If you guys would like to check out either HoneyBook or Vibo, I got links down in the description down below to where you guys can check out those products. Like I said, my link for HoneyBook is gonna save you 50% on a whole entire year. That's a pretty awesome deal and a shout out to HoneyBook for like providing this awesome deal for you guys. And Michael over at Vibo is the owner and if you mention my name, he might throw you guys in a discount, he might not, I'm not sure. But anyways, that's one other awesome thing with these two companies. Um, they're actually really good about like listening to what you guys want. So I've actually had conversations with Michael, the owner of Viable. I've, I've had conversations with the CEO of HoneyBook. And uh, we talked about some of the stuff that could be tweaked, some of the stuff that could be better. So it's awesome that they're listening to their like their clients and they're actually implementing changes for the future to make their products better. So yeah guys, that's all for this initial video to show you guys HoneyBook and to show you guys Vibo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys did. Links down below if you guys wanna check out the products like I said earlier. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or ideas, or stuff you wanna learn about in terms of HoneyBook or Vibo for future videos, leave them down in the comments section down below. If you like this video, be sure to slap that like button. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button. If you wish to support the channel, there is a link to the Patreon down in the description down below. And like always, guys, my name is DJ Rookweb. Keep them records spinning, and I will see you guys next time with more awesome, amazing content. Peace.